as you know this channel we don't get paid a lot of money so please like the video it does really go a long way to help our channel grow hey what's happening heads how you doing how you been what's happening what's happening what's good hey before we get this video started you already know gonna smash that thumbs up you know what we're trying to do yes sir yes sir hey so in this video we got a what another unboxing what we got here let's open this bad boy up does coming at the cool tab. Let's see what we got in store. Bam! We got the Air Jordan 4 RM colorway reads black, light bone, dark gray. So one thing I uh, noticed about this box, it does come in that I guess these are the leftover boxes from the green pair, but this is like the third collaboration or color release that was released from Nike brand with the Georgia 4 RM. Got that green Jumpman on the back. Elephant print on the front. That's light logo. Green Jordan on the top of the lid. Open it up. We got clear white box. Uh, we do see that has a bike symbol right there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. It does have a lot number on the inside right there, as you can see. Open up this paper, we got 23 stamped all over in red. Open up these shoes. Bam, you got the shoe. I got these bad boys. Bam. You got the Air Jordan 4 RMs. Let me know what that RM stands for. I've been here in uh, several different meetings. I heard it's called the Remastered. There's several different names out there. But let me know down in the comments. So this pair right here, as you can see, comes in this black and bone colorway. Predominantly the shoe is pretty much black at the top. The bottom of the shoe, we got that bone. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but this right here is like a gray suede around the toe box. Not not bad. I'm not gonna say it's the best suede that I ever seen, but it's not bad. Right here on top of the toe box, we do have leather. And then right here around where the tongue padding meets the sole of the shoe top, we do have another uh, new, bit, new buck or suede. Do you think that's a nice hit? So I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. We do have several different materials on there. Move around to the lateral side do see this Chinese tag. This pair did come from Nike.com. So if you want these, they're still sitting online. Retail price was $150. This is that TPU cage that's going around to the back. Do have that Nike Air branding on the back. It doesn't have that bike air on the back because this is not one of his signature PEs, I guess. That's what we call them. I'm not sure what they're calling, but only the green pair and the uh, grandma's driveway had the bike here on the back. I'm not mad at that. The black inner sock liner does come uh, a lot of extra padding on here from what I've seen. And that may just because you're going to be skateboarding in these or biking. I guess you need more padding around the ankles. I do think that's a nice touch and it maybe feels better on feet. This is, again, uh, I consider these a Jordan 4 Low. Uh, let me know if you ever seen any Jordan 4s Low. I know I haven't. So looking at the bottom of the shoe, we do have that nice Jordan 4 outsole. It does come with that black pod at the front as well as that pod in the middle with that jordan jump man in that bone color i do think this is a nice clean bottom overall as you notice it doesn't say nike or jordan brand it does have a jump man instead uh, i'm not sure if the other shoes had jump man only on the bottom but let me know down in the comments sneaker heads move around to the toe box we do see that black laces. I think this is, makes it real clean. I guess you, if you do want it to pop, you could. You could put some cell laces in there or light bone. And we do have this nice, hard to see, but we do have a nice Jordan patch on the tongue. I really think that's a nice touch instead of having that sewn in uh, Jordan Jumpman that we normally see. We do have that Jordan 4 flight patch right there. We do see that light logo underneath there. It is kind of hard to see because of the way the laces come over the toolbox uh maybe the tongue could have been a little bit longer but maybe it's just like how you lace these so you can see the tongue tag a little bit more uh, let me know how y'all rocking these would you have the tongue 
tag exposed or would you leave it covered up like a stealth shoe like this one thing that i don't see on this shoe um i noticed on, like on the first pair and the second pair that they released the bike airs they did have that nike check right there on the side but this one doesn't have any uh one thing i don't like i know i'm glad they did it on the inner side but i don't know why they did this little like stitching right here uh i'm not sure why this couldn't be one full piece but if you do know, let me know down in the comments, sneakerheads. Now, this shoe is a very affordable shoe, in my opinion, at $150. I think if you do like Jordan 4s, I think you're probably going to love this shoe. Uh, I haven't put these on feet yet, but I've heard that these are very comfortable. And crazy thing about this being that it's, it's lower in price, this shoe, ironically, it does come with an extra set of laces, which I think is crazy because, you know, the more expensive shoes don't even get extra laces. So I'm real happy about that. So if we open these up and see what color this is, it's like a gray. So imagine that being gray. I don't think these shoelaces really match this shoe in my opinion but let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comment section sneakerheads but overall i think this is a clean shoe it is very wearable i think this shoe would have been good in black and white as well like a panda but i do like the contrast of the shoe uh, it's a little bit different and you don't have to worry about it getting as dirty as if the midsole would have been all white but this is a light bone color i know it's kind of hard to see because uh, the shoe is so light there you go you can kind of see it right there so we do looking at a black tpu along with that light gray suede at the top and the midsole is light bone you know i do think this is a nice shoe i like this tpu that wraps all the way around it's a nice touch a little jordan jumpman right there and this is one of my complaints i don't know why like the little jordan jumpman can't be different colors to make the shoe pop but i'm not really mad at that um what do you think Overall, look at the shoe. Do have that murder out back tab on the back. Nike Air in black. Overall, do think this is a clean shoe for the fall. And being that fall is right around the corner. Really think this Jordan Brad did a really good job at this. Again, these are sitting because this is not one of his collabs. All his collabs did sell out, but I guess because it doesn't have any bike air on the back, they're sitting. But let me know what you think about this. There are also two other colorways. Uh, if you're looking for a GR version of the bike air, there is a woman's green pair that's out right now. And then there's an all bone pair as well. I did think about getting the all bone pair. That I think that's a really nice neutral shoe for the females. But again, this right here is a male shoe. Let me know your thoughts and comments about the Jordan 4 RMs. Are you rocking these or dropping these? But we're trying to get back to unboxing a little bit more sneakers with y'all. We appreciate all y'all's support. Um, as you know, this channel, we don't get paid a lot of money. So please like the video. It does really go a long way and help our channel grow. And if you guys continue to love content like this, hey, check out that video right there. And like we said, for sure, when you're blessed. Hey, bless others. Peace.